Okay, we're back. Let's uh, set up our standard IK. Uh, um, I do use the pole vectors that come with 9.5 and, and the uh, 9.5 and 9.6 and uh, with the new rigging tools there, but I'm not going to deal with that for this tutorial because it's unrelated once again. So let us add a null object and we'll call this foot IK. Okay, I'm going to go into my globals and turn off parent in place. And in the scene editor, I will parent this to the foot. So basically, we'll snap to the location of the foot there. It's got the same position, same low, same orientation. And now I'm going to turn parent in place back on, and we'll parent this back to nothing. Uh, actually, when I do rig for real, I would create a mover bone and then the root would be par parented to the mover and as these IK guys would be parented to the mover so I can just grab the mover and move the entire rig around but uh, that's unnecessary for right now so this should be yep parented to nothing okay so uh, let's go to um, this bone actually we need its parent and I hit it so I'm gonna go right there and tell that to be unaffected by IK of de descendants. And then we'll go to the foot bone here. I said we'll go to the foot bone. Okay. And we'll choose our goal. All right. Let's move everything over here so we can see both at once. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be using, well let me back up here, this is the old way of doing things right here, match goal orientation, but uh, I don't use it anymore because it's been supplemented by the new IK tools rotation item and same as item, so uh, don't use this anymore, this is just here for compatibility as far as I know, and uh, the reason why you don't want to use it is because expressions and plugins and anything will not be able to see the changes this affects. This is always last in line to, get, to be calculated. So uh, let's go here to a much friendlier versatile method and we'll choose our foot IK bone and we're going to choose same as item, same as item, same as item. Okay, you, you can see the foot flipped around but we put on world mode here. It goes back where it's supposed to go. So now if I choose my object and I rotate that, the foot falls right along, which is good. Okay. But of course this is IK and we wanted to have the leg follow along. We have to set up the rest of the bones for that. And we're going to choose uh, inverse kinematics here and inverse kinematics here and then for the pitch of the thigh inverse kinematics. Okay, let's test it out. Grab our goal. Everything looks happy. Okay, but we're not done yet. This is where everything gets customized. This is basically up to this point where a very standard old-fashioned way of doing things. So I'm going to add another null. I'm going to call this foot, well, leg, foot control. And this time I'm going to put item shape on there so we can see it better. I'm going to put this right around here and align it to the foot. Uh, I don't know why the uh, is this parent as a leg? Nope. I don't know why my my uh, handles are skewed like that. Oh, it's because I have the that guy selected. All right, that's better. No, nope, he's skewed too. This this should be. Uh, well, we'll deal with that later.
Okay, so um, bear with me a second. I just put this in local mode for right now so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm going to make a, another no. And we'll call this leg ball rotation. And we'll move that to the location where the ball will rotate. The ball of the foot, that is. Yeah, let's put it here. Another null. Whoops. Heel rotation. And we'll put that right about here. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure my parent in place is on. Yep, it is in the scene editor. Okay, so we got our foot control here. I'm going to take these two guys and put them in a hierarchy. Okay, so I got the heel parented to the ball and that's parented to the foot control. Uh, I'm also going to take this guy, the, f the foot IK guy, and parent him to the end of that chain there. Okay, so now if I rotate the heel, we get rotation on the heel, and if I rotate the ball, we get rotation on the ball. Okay, good. Actually, is a good time to stop, and then I'll pick it up on the next part.